Now then, YouTube, I am the Top Man, and welcome back to some more Euro Truckers! Woo! Episode. <coughs> oh my god, I'm not excited to start coughing. Anyway, guys, it's episode 7, and uh, I had a little thing at the top at the left hand corner of my screen saying I had some new upgrades available, which is this little thing here 840 euros, and this thing could be mine! I'd be mental not to. Oh, can't I actually. Oh, what? I'd have to actually go there, guys, and to be honest. We don't want to do that just right now. We will do it in the future, don't worry about it. We'll uh, unlock some more stuff. We've hardly got like any money at all. We've got like 15,000 and that's because of course um, I still have to pay this thing off uh, in, in form of my bank. I'm paying back 2,887 a day. So I've got to make sure I'm making more than 2,887 a day, haven't I? So um, th there's no real, no real getting away with it, guys. I think, do I have a current job? I can't remember if I selected one or not. This is the problem. This is what I always have. I can never remember. I can never remember. And I don't know where everything is. Cabin adjustments. I want to adjust my cabin. But I don't. I'm fine at the moment. Uh, I could, of course, go into the bank and go get like a £400,000 loan and then start hiring some guys. But to be honest, I don't want to do that just yet. I'm just going to go into drive mode to see if I've actually accepted a job. I can't remember if I've accepted a job or not yet. Can't remember. Episode seven, guys. Oh, and I've I've got some good I've got some good stuff to talk about today. I have got some good stuff to talk about today. Um, in fact, one of them's still going on, and I'm I'm umming and ahhing whether or not it actually is an April Fool. But it is April the first, guys. Um, so it doesn't look like I've actually got a job, guys. Right, let's go into the job market. Let's have a look, see what's available. Remember, guys, I'm. Doing uh, United Kingdom first. I'm going to try and get everything unlocked in the UK first before I then move on, you know, abroad. Um, let's select like this current destination, being uh, Grimsby. Grimsby, they're all to Amsterdam. Look, there's one here to Cambridge. Have we unlocked Cambridge? We haven't unlocked Cambridge, so it probably is going to be uh, this one that we're going to go over. And deliver. Now, as you can see, guys, 6,431. You know, that would pay off um, my loan and have 4,000 left to spare, so that's brilliant. We can do that. We can do that, no problems. We could also go to Manchester. We've already been to Manchester, so we don't want to go there. Um, it is a shorter trip, though, by quite, quite. A no, it's not, actually. Oh, well, bugger it. We'll go with this one. We're taking stuff from one uh, haulage company to another. So, I don't know. Seems strange to me that they would hire me to do that. But anyway. Grimsby to Cambridge. Here we go, then. Starting off at Grimsby. We're going to go and pick this, the uh, thing up first. Oh, my God. It's been a while. No, don't stop. You can't. Whoop, whoop. I nearly crashed into the gate. That's centre our view. There we are. That's that's a little bit better. All right, let's let's go. Let's go. So what have I got to talk about today, guys? Well, I've got a few things to talk about today, and um, one of them is books and uh, the digital era, the digital age that is. I'm gonna just can I? No, of course I can't. Just squeeze out here. Look at these son of a bitches. Luckily I'm only in my cabin. Uh, but yeah, uh, the books and the digital age that is, guys. And um, there's a... Uh, I love books. I've got to say, there's nothing better than, than you know, cracking open a, a nice new, crisp, clean book. There really isn't. There's nothing better than... Uh, oh, shit. Oh, luckily I've got nothing on the back of me there, because I was going a little bit fast. Um, yeah, nothing better than cracking open a nice new, crisp, clean... Oh, you, you open it, you've got that book smell, haven't you? You've got that new book smell that's just amazing. And the, the thing is, I'm a big reader, guys. I do read quite a lot of stuff. I'm a big reader. And this digital age... All right, I've got, I have got a Kindle as well. I've got, to, I've got to admit, guys, I do have a Kindle as well. But there's nothing better than a book. Now, to actually, you know, get digital versions of a book, it's actually more expensive than to get the book itself. So I'm like, well hang on a minute, what's the point in doing that? 
what's the point in getting a digital copy? It's not actually costing them anything. It's just costing. I don't know. I don't know. You know about you know distribution and stuff like that. But it's not actually costing these guys anything. Just uh, concentrate on this part, guys. Got that, son of a bitch. Oh, what? Are you serious? Do I have just to go into here and... What do I do? Oh. Okay, yeah. Right, I've just got to... That's what I've got to do. Now, I go into there. Ledge parking. Well, it's not really ledge parking. It's like ledge picking up. Look at that. Brilliant. It's on. Centre our view again. So yeah, I mean, you know, my question to you guys is, you know, are you a fan of books? Is anybody a fan of books here like like what I am at the moment? I do like a good book. I do like a good book. But then again, guys, it's always, I find it a lot easier and a lot better to actually get it, you know, as a book. Because, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I like to, I, I have a good read while I'm in a bath as well. I have a good read while I'm in a bath. Oh, shit. Oh, it's close. You know, I sit there, I read my book, you know, a good half hour, have a nice soak, and then, you know, I get myself sorted and get out. But the thing, the thing is, you can read a book, like, absolutely everywhere, and you can read the Kindle absolutely everywhere, and it's, you know, it's nice and easy, it's, it's light, it's simple, but there's nothing better than a good book. And it's very scary as well, guys, because, you know, if we didn't have books from the past, um, we wouldn't know that our history... We simply wouldn't know our history. And as, 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 as everything is getting more and more digital and, you know, on, you know, on the internet and stuff like that, and, and, you know, writing stuff down has become a thing of the past, you know, you've got everything on your computer. The thing is, guys, in thousands and thousands of years' time, nobody's going to know anything because it's all digital. And as soon as it gets erased, it's erased. Books, are, you know, are there all the time books are there all the time. It's very scary, guys. It really is. And, um, you know, they were saying uh, about, you know, sending signals into space and stuff like that. You know, TV has become digital and, and radio is becoming digital. Everything is becoming digital. So we're coming... If people wanted to find us, we've got no radio waves. There's no radio waves actually going out into space to actually say, you know what, we're, we're here. We've got TV, we've got the radio, we've got all this kind of good stuff. There's nothing there. There's just nothing there at all. To, uh, to say that we're there and you know we could be, we're becoming more and more introvert as a race you know it's 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 quite scary the fact that uh, with one click things can be deleted um, it, it's not like that with books you know you'd have to physically burn a book fair enough to, for it to be deleted but you can store books and in libraries and you know a digital library what would that be it, w it wouldn't be the same as a normal library it just wouldn't be it just wouldn't I'm a big fan of the old books of just normal box standard books that you buy from a bookstore and you get home and you just you crack it up and you feel you feel the back crack you know the the backbone of the book just the spine of it you know crack and um, you get that book smell and I'm a massive, massive fan of that. I really am a massive fan of that and it just seems that uh, we're going the wrong way in terms of stuff like that. So I've just got uh, um, cruise control on right now. Um, what else have we got to talk about? Oh yeah, that's another thing. Now if anybody you know lives in the UK, much like myself, um, oh let me have a look at my petrol actually. What's my petrol on? Oh it's full, that's alright then. I didn't need to just pop in there right quick. Um, yeah, if anybody you know has ITV2, and you know most people do have nowadays in in in, uh, in the UK and stuff like that, you will notice f um, like programs about Peter Andre and fucking Katie Price and you know shit stuff like that and Essex fucking you know the only way is Essex and Geordie Shaw and oh my. God. God, those things get on my tits. Now, I'll tell you why. I don't understand what's so appealing about these programs. What makes following somebody in, you know, in real life, following somebody with a camera, any more interesting than your own life? You know, they've got a bit of money, you know. You know, they, 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 get, they go through the same things as us. 
Yeah, they've got, they've, they've, you know, they've got a bit more money, so they don't go through exactly the same things as us with regards to like money troubles and the real world and stuff like that. You know, they go out to parties and they get fucking nannies to look after the kids instead of looking after them themselves. That's why I can't stand fucking these people. Sometimes I think, you know, it's all well and good having a career, but you know, uh, you know, palming them off with your nanny whilst you're there is another thing. You know what I mean? Having a living nanny, it's just. Uh, that's that's just ridiculous. That's just laziness. That's absolute pure laziness. And I, I'll never get over how big-headed knobheads that do these kind of programs, like Geordie Shaw and fuck. The only way is Essex. You know, some of the blokes in there, I think, grow up. You have no idea of the real world, and you st they all start acting like they're fucking thirteen again. You know, thinking they're hard fucking wankers and stuff like that. It does my tits in. It really does my head in. And some of the women as well have just got no no two brain cells to rub together. Oh my goodness gracious me. Really, honestly, I have no idea what the hell is going on with those programs and why people feel, find them entertaining. If you're one of these people, please tell me why. Because I haven't got a clue. I really don't. Why has this geezer slowed down? Not got no indicator out. Nobhead. You, you came speeding past me like that and then you just... Oh yeah, now you... What the hell are you trying to do to me, you son of a bitch? Oh crap. Um... Oh, it's alright, we've got a left turn down here. Oh, have we got a left turn? Is that the actual... Oh, crap. I think I'm going to have to do one of these ledge U-turns. <laughs> oh, my God! I can't! Look at, the Look at the size of the road! I haven't got no... I've got no... I've got no chance, fellas. I'm going to have to keep going. Um, never mind. No wonder that car was slowing down so much, it was reminding me. See, this is what I get for not doing as... You know, not looking what I'm doing rather than talking. Just too busy talking, and now I'm, go I'm going the wrong way. I'm off to freaking Birmingham or something. We've got no little roads to turn around in this this part, of, in this neck of the woods. No, none of that. I could reverse, but what seriously is the point? I, it's alright, tell them to turn around, I can't. Here we are, look, guys. Here we are, fuck it straight off. Why can't I do that? What do you mean it's not allowed? Let's turn this around. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Let's swing it. Let's swing it. Oh, it's gonna be ledge. I didn't do all. I'm gonna jackknife it. No, I'm not. Oh, look at that! How ledge was that? Not even no fines, no damage or all. Oh, it's brilliant. Let's straighten my view up again. All right, so we're on the road again. We're on track. So what was I talking about? Oh yeah, them knob cheesers. Um, yeah, I just don't get that kind of that program. I really don't. You know, it, they're just full of themselves. Why would people want to watch somebody who is full of themselves? I've not no clue. You know, I find stuff like um, I was watching this walking the Amazon. I was it walking? Yeah, I'm sure it was walking the Amazon. And this guy, right? This guy. This is like um, what's his face on steroids? The 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 uh, the bloke who does like the survival series. What's his name now? Um, Oh shit, what's his name? Bear Grylls, that's the one. Uh, you know, doing this survival series. And this guy walking the Amazon. This is proper, proper survival, this is. And it was mental, and I loved that series. It was it was on for about three three episodes or something like that. But he went through absolute hell and torture, and so did the people, you know, who, were, who joined along with him, you know, as he was going along that route. And when he got to the end and he just, like, fell down to his knees and anybody who's watching that program who, who watched that program you just you felt for him you really did feel for him when he was on that final straight and he was literally running down the street down the final straight towards the uh, um, towards the, the the beach right at the end there oh it was just amazing it was great and that's the type of shit I like to watch real shit real stuff not this fabricated bullshit that's on ITV2 and I'm stuck again look it's one of these little entrances that I can never seem to get out of there we are good stuff we're on we're on we are on yeah it was it was absolutely brilliant and um, there was one guy like this ex army guy I think or something like that who went along with him and he only lasted like two weeks or something because he had something he ended up having something wrong with his foot and um, you know he was walking with his you know and his foot was totally inflamed and that's real that is real life and I don't get why people would want to watch Peter Andre strut around like some sort of 
fucking Ponzi Pratt rather than watching this real life this, this gritting stuff I mean, even some of the soaps are better than fucking... Even all of the soaps, should I say, are better than, than these people who... Oh, look, to the left-hand side here. And on the left-hand side, we've got the uh, Combine Harvester going over their fields and putting... You know, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Let me, just, let me just... Hang on a minute. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. I can't see out my cab now. Let me go... Let me do the F... No, was it F5? Or was it just... Oh, there it is. No. I'm gonna get done for holding up traffic. Look, it's dumping all its shit into absolutely nothing. It's it's gathering all that wheat and just dumping it on the floor. How ledge is that? Anyway, let's continue on with our journey. A nice little stop there, right in the middle of the A1. Police, what were you doing, sir? Well, just thought I'd stop and have a look, see what the fuck that guy was doing in his combine arrows, sir, if that was alright with you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So yeah, guys, I love those. I love these survivalist kind of programs. I'm, a, you know, I, I am actually, you know, umming and ahhing. I was saying to my missus the other time, uh, you know, about going on one of these little survival weeks or these survival weekends just with the kids one time to show them a different side of life. You know what I mean? I think life skills like that is something that people need. People need those kind of life. Just hap you know, what happens if, you know, North Korea come along and just nuke the entire lot of the UK? Leaving these, you know, pockets of civilization to fend for themselves. You know, there's no benefits. There's no, there's no life. You know, like they're what they used to be. There's no money. It's all about survival. You know, what happens if, like, bloody Japan or something come over and just release the zombie strain upon us all, and we, you know, we're forced to survive and make our own food, and you know, uh, you know that kind of survival. That kind of survival. It's, it's an important part of of life just in case because you never know you never know guys what the hell is gonna happen uh, going forwards in in real life eventually I reckon somebody's gonna bomb somebody whether it being Russia that bombs us or you know Russia that bombs the United States or North Korea that bombs Russia or North Korea that bombs the US or the US that bombs us it's gonna happen at some stage you see it in these games you see it in these films and it's scary stuff. It really is scary stuff. The the nuclear power. It really is quite you know scary stuff. And what it would do to civilization as a whole. Will this you know ever happen to us? I hope it never does. I hope it never never does. And I hope that um, that they can resolve this this issue that's going on in the in, in the North Korea at the moment. All you need to do is take up the difference between North Korea and South Korea. Now I actually went and I thought, well, how the hell did this happen? How the hell did the North hate the, ha the South so much? What happened in the past? And I went to have a look, and I, you know, I only had a brief read up of it, but it, apparently, you know, after the, the uh, I think, it, I don't know if it was the First or the Second World War, where the Russians had control of the North side of North Korea, and the US had the, the control of the South side. And then the p political divide um, between the North and the South, you know, divided them. And that was, you know, Russia had the north side, so there were communists and, you know, it, it, it's, you know, regimented North Korea. You know what I mean? Regimented North Korea. And the US had control of the south, which was like uh, freedom of speech and, you know, freedom in general. And over 60 years, however long it's been, no, it's actually fucking, it's, actually, it's like 80 years or something like that now. Um, over, you know, 70, 80 years now. Um, a lot of things have changed, you know, they've evolved. The North Koreans haven't evolved that much in the fact that uh, they're still communists and they're still, you know, very much that the, the, there's the one power in charge of everything. Um, I think we're on the speed limit here. But the South has just gone and, you know, took to freedom and took to the freedom of speech like you wouldn't believe. And the, you, you see it all over, all over YouTube. The uh, what what can be done? The South Koreans have the fastest internet in the world. North Koreans don't have the internet. You know, and, and the diversity that, that that can be brought from something like that. It's a shame that the North never went that kind of way as well. It really is a shame. Now I've got to actually pull in here, otherwise I'm going to end up in trouble because somebody's going to be up my crack. There we are. Look. Get out of my way. Go on. Fuck out of my way. Coming through here. Coming through. 
I'm not a big political guy, uh, to be honest, guys. I really aren't a political political uh, political guy. I don't know the ways of the world when it comes to politics and stuff like that. But I have this annoying habit that if I don't know something, I find it out. I don't know about you guys, but if if I'm out of the loop and I think to myself, I wonder about this, I wonder why that was the case, or I wonder why this is, or I wonder why that is, I wonder how this happened, or I wonder how that happened, then I look it up. You know, I go on Google, I look it up, I find the answer. Some people don't give a shit. You know, they're like, oh, I wonder why that, oh, can't be asked. you know, I can't be bothered. I couldn't care less, some people. Couldn't care less. But this is the ways of the world, and some people do like to know this kind of information. Some some of it's like useful, inf uh, useless information, like with the, what you know what happened between the North and South Korea it means nothing to me. It means nothing to my life, but I've still found it out anyway, and I've still gone and you know had a look into it because I'm interested. I want to know what happened, and some people just don't care. You know, it might be useless information to some people, but to me, that's information, and um, it makes me laugh. You know, when when I watch like pointless or something on TV, you know, with the quiz shows and stuff like that, and I'm, I'm rattling off all this useful, useless information, and uh, um, not pointless, what's that one, The Chase, that's the one on ITV, brilliant, brilliant show, I love that show, but you know, they, they, these questions and stuff like that, and uh, you know, I like, I know the answer, I, I say the answer, it's like, how the, how the bloody hell do you know that? I don't know, I just do know that, because somewhere along the line I've found it out, or it, you know, I've watched something and it sank in. You know that yeah, that kind of you can't buy that kind of personality. You can't be, if you aren't that kind of person, you won't be that person. Um, but I, I'm just I like information. I like to know what happened um, within certain things. If 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 it interests me, you know, if it doesn't interest me, then I tend not to find it out. Uh, you know, I don't hold information, I don't want to know about information if I don't want to know about it. It's just simple as that. Some people, you know, even if they want to know how, how something happened, they don't look it up. Um, other things that wind me up, other things that pretty, pretty much annoy me, is the, the meaning of words. And, you know, I was, uh, I was sat in uh, my in-laws, um, no, I was sat in my other half's Nana's house. It was having this discussion about this nursery rhyme. Where did this nursery rhyme, where did this nursery rhyme come from? I was having this discussion. It was like, you know, uh, my my missus and Nana was saying, you know, I, I don't really care where it, you know, I couldn't care less where it come from. And I'm like, no, I, you've got it in my head now. I want to know where it's come from. Oh, we've got an, we've got an exit here, guys. I want to know where it's come from. So I found it. You know, I got, I got the internet out of my phone, and I was like, oh yeah, no, you know, I said it to him. I was like, I still don't care. <laughs> but it's like. I had to find it out. I've got one of those annoying tendencies, you know, it's some people's pet hates, you know, for, to, for people like me that have to find out information as soon as I've got a question about it. But other people, you know, like that kind of thing and can appreciate um, when somebody wants to know something about something. But, you know, what kind of category do you turn into? I wouldn't go into the side of me if I was you. Holy crap! That guy had a death witch! Did you see that? I don't know if there's smoke coming. How? He's right up my crap. What do you expect me to do, seriously? I've got bills to pay. I've got a family to support. It's not my fault he came straight right up into my ass. Bit of AI. Come on, a bit of AI here, please. Uh, yeah, so, we, we... Oh, we're nearly here, guys. We're nearly here. Me other, me other subjects. And I've got quite a few, guys. I've got written, written down, just in case I run out of things to talk about. Um, but I've got some written, you know, some subjects written down. But we're nearly here now, guys. You get to see, you know what it is, some ledge parking. Get to see some ledge parking. I hope it's going to be ledge parking. I've not done too bad on my parking. You know, to say, you know, I played the demo and then I went ahead and, you know, played some by myself because I didn't think, you know, what it was, I didn't think it would be as popular as what it was at the time. Um, so I went ahead and, uh, you know, I played some by myself. And I think I've improved with my parking, guys. I really do think I've improved. 30 mile an hour, cruise control, Cambridge, here we are, here we are, and I'm going to do my usual and go around and see if I can get some question marks, if there is any question marks to find, that is, doesn't look like it, and if it is, it's right where I'm going to go anyway, so, I'm alright with that, good stuff, in fact it might be a little bit further on from where I am, over this roundabout and round and far away, I'm going to do that guys, I'm going to go around the roundabout and, uh and go over here, because I think that... You fucking idiot! Don't you know it's give way to your right? Oh, what the fuck? 
Why is it with these people? Jesus Christ! Come on, give these guys some AI. Jesus. You could kill people doing this kind of shit. I don't think it is a question mark, unfortunately. But now we're in his own truck, guys. We actually get to see when it, you know, when it becomes time to uh, to sleep. You get to see that kind of thing happening as well. Oh, I've mounted the curb. Never mind. Carry on. As you were. <laughs> we're nearly there, DHL. They're wanting the shit that's on the back. I don't know what it is. I think it's like metals or something like that. Oh, what a corner. What a is Ikea to the right hand side there, guys. Nice. Nice. Oh, here we are. Some ledge parking. We get to see it now. Right, where's the parking spot? There it is, look. Right, let's uh let's do it the other way. I've always done it the other way. Let's do it this way now. Mostly because it's easy as well. We don't have to turn the right way. Let me do that again. Let's park in, guys. Let's park in. Now it is. Right. Oh no, I can see it up there. Can I? I can't actually see where the parking spot is, though. It's much easier from doing it inside the cab. It is much easier, in fact. Uh, hang on a minute. It's not ledge parking here, guys. It's not ledge parking, I'm afraid. That's a little bit easier, I suppose. Is that it? I think we've got it, guys. No, 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 keep going, keep going, that way. That's nearly it, we're nearly there. Right, we're straight there, let's just go straight forwards. Well, we were straight, I don't know what happened. Um, alright, where's this parking spot? There it is, look. Turn in so we can start going backwards straight. Oh, this is it, guys. Look at this. It's like a parking. That's what it is, guys. Look at that. It's like parking. Come on. Yeah. Let's park it! Low bed service, excellent rating there. Look at the money. Rolling in dough. Not so much experience though. Only halfway through level three. But uh, we're getting there. We are getting there. Oh, it's great. It's just fucking great. Absolutely. Where's my pen so I can mark off that I've done episode seven now? Nice. I'm trying to get ahead of my recordings, guys, because I want a week off, but I don't want, you know, I don't want you guys to suffer for, uh, for, for uh, content and entertainment, really, for a week, so I'm trying to get ahead of myself. Um, episode 8, guys, episode 8. Let's go and have a look. See what we've got, the old job market. Freight market seems to be worth more. Um, I want one to Felix Door Dover, to be quite honest. We could go over to Calais, but I don't want to. Um, yeah, the, the, we've only got ones from Grimsby, uh, from Thingamabobby. Uh, what about quick jobs? Got any quick jobs from uh, from Cambridge to anywhere? No, we haven't. Oh, that's well annoying. That's well annoying, because it, it, if there's no jobs here, that means I've actually got to go there. And I don't want to go there. Felix Dove of course, is a park, guys. Um, so, actually, if I was to do that kind of route, you can see, we, we actually go to Felixstowe to get to Rotterdam. Um, 
So it could be worth doing something like that, you know, and then unlocking Felix Stowe that way, and then, uh, you know, coming back over. It wouldn't take too long, because Rotterdam's, you know, only that length away. It's not too far away. Um, Dover, of course, we would get unlocked if we went to Calais. Hmm. I don't know. We still haven't unlocked Sheffield, we still haven't unlocked Swansea or Plymouth or anything like that. Can we, like, auto go back to our base? That would be good, wouldn't it? Let's go and have a look. World map, can we... Explored only 5.1% of my base, uh, of my world. That is insane! Jesus. Can we go back? Can we actually go back? Company manager, garage manager... Quick travel. Haha, -ha, we can go back to Grimsby, guys, if we so wanted to. And then uh, I could take a drive over to, to Sheffield and then do a job from Sheffield. Hmm. What have we unlocked? So let's go and have a quick gander at what we have and what we haven't unlocked here. So we've still got Sheffield. Liverpool is one that we haven't unlocked yet. Newcastle, Glasgow, Edinburgh and Aberdeen right up the top there. So we haven't gone into Scotland at all. And I never have in real life either, guys. Uh, we've got Plymouth and uh, Swansea as well. Hmm. I think some actual driving is going to be in order here from Grimsby over to Sheffield. Um, why don't I do that, though, off camera? I'm going to do that off camera. There's no point, you know, see it showing you guys. Mind you, actually, I'm going to be in, in my little truck here. I'm going to bomb along in my little truck. So, could do that. Could do that. Let me uh, go to the world map, either which way. Not the world map. What am I doing? Go to company manager and go back to Grimsby. Quick travel over to Grimsby. Thank you very much. Yep, I want to instantly travel there. Average daily profit of plus 12,000. So we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad at all. Soon, before you know it, guys, we're going to have an empire. Death driving empire. Everybody will want to use us, you know what I mean? Doing sh silly U turns in the road and stuff. Oh my god. Night driving, guys. Night driving. Either which way, guys, um, it is time for me to uh, close an end to this episode. And I'm also going to go on ahead and go to sleep as well. I don't, I don't want to drive in this. Fucking, I don't want to drive in this. I want to drive in the morning, thank you. Interesting to see, though, that, uh, that time still goes by when you fast travel. Let's go to a bed. It's over here. Got a lot more speed than oh, oh, that was close. Got a lot more speed than when it hasn't actually got anything on the back of it, which you would expect, actually. I suppose. Here we are. Let's go in here. Truck stop. Da, 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 da. No, that's fix up. I want truck stop, please. Can I have to go in here? Let's park. Like a bit of ledge parking, guys. Two ledge parkings in one episode. Mental. Can't be doing that. In for a treat. Press the following key to rest. Alright, guys, I will see you in the morning. Until next time, guys, I've been the Toughman as always. Stay safe.